Hey everybody, Rick Needham, handicapping thoroughbred racing from my hometown track, Penn National Racecourse, Grandfield, Pennsylvania, on Tuesday evening, October the 4th, and this is my dayatthetrack.com race of the day. Let's take a look at race 3 tonight, folks, 6.49 p.m. Eastern Post Time. It's 8.5 furlong route test on the dirt track. Three-year-olds and up rates are an optional claiming purse of some $34,000. Contenders number two, Mind Train, number one, Indian Jones, number three, Valerius, and number five, Quail Hollow. Number two, Mind Train takes a class drop of some 10 units, has turned in power run performances in five straight starts, hitting the board in the pair, including a power run win in his fifth race back. Jockey J.D. Acosta and trainer Chris Grove sent him to the post tonight. They've hit the board with an even 50% of more than 340 combined lifetime starts to date. The 4-1 to one shot, number 1, Indian Jones, has hit the board in three of his last four outings overall with his last two board hit efforts, including a win in his second race back, also qualifying as power runs. Race 3 summary, number 2, Mine Train, tops my contenders list, which also includes number 1, Indian Jones, Number three, Valerius, and number five, Quail Hollow, two, one, three, five, and the third from Penn National. Bonus long shots. Let's go to Who's Your Daddy Park in Indiana, race nine, number eight. More Newtons, please. Eight to one in the morning line. Qualifies as a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony. He's the overall speed leader in his allowance field. Sprinting at tonight's distance of six furlongs on the dirt. Finger Lakes Race Course, race five, the six to one shot. Number four, Helena's My Mom, a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony qualifier. Takes a class drop of eight units. Is the speed leader in his claiming field, racing at or about today's distance of a mile and 70 yards on the dirt. So from Penn National on a Tuesday night, Rick Needham for today at the track.com, reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.